Jesus. We're leaving the Pope Prod station where Rena and the first transport of women to Auschwitz left. We believe it was either March 24th or 25th, we're not certain. It's um, 7.25 in the morning here, and the thing that struck me the most about leaving this morning uh, was how cold it was. Uh, our, you know, it's very, we're in the mountains, it's very crisp air, it's quite beautiful with the mountains, um, but I'm dressed well, I'm in a heated carriage, um, and this morning all I could think of uh, was how cold it must have been in those cattle cars, um, the breeze coming through, no heat. Uh, she had been on the train for a couple of days when they came to Poprod, and then um, had another 24, maybe more, maybe less, we're not really sure, uh, to Ashvenchim. And the other thing, um, I woke up this morning as the sun was rising on the mountains, and, and I thought about Rena. Um, I thought, how would she feel? And I just felt like she would feel so depressed. Uh, but she's such a positive person. She had so much hope, and she always believed in the good in people. And um, I think she would have been so disappointed that this was happening. And, and so confused, how could anything so awful happen to, um, to her? to anybody. She really didn't understand, um, she didn't understand meanness. She didn't understand people not being kind and loving to each other. And um, she would have just been really confused by that and, um, and really saddened by it. Um, at the same time, at some point, you know, when she arrives in Auschwitz, her her willpower comes back, but this train journey was um, was her dark night of the soul, the the first of many.